Is it recording, man? Yep. Yep, you're cool. on. Hey, man. Like, uh, it's Johnny Paranormal. I just met, um, um, uh, Jumping Joe, I call him. <laughs> from, um, he's got a, what, what's your credentials? Uh, I got a diploma in uh, sound engineering and sound production. Oh, yeah, sweet, man. So, poor old Jumping Joe. I bought him this footage. I met him, um, because I organized to meet an editor, uh, to verify the footage. And I, I met Jumping Joe, and, uh, he's a skeptic as well. And he, um, I gave him the whole hour and a half ghost hunt that I uploaded on YouTube uh, for him to basically prove, you know, it's fake. Um, and he's got the footage straight from the the hard drive, um, the, yep. the raw the footage. SD card straight from the camera, straight onto here, just for analysing. So tell me, Joe, what um, what what have you found, and what do you think? Well, basically, the main one that I kind of went straight for the sounds that have been picked up on your uh, videos was obviously uh, the Lucifer, because uh, that's one that kind of stands out a bit, and that's the one that intrigues me the most. Um, that was, I believe, is at 54 minutes, 55, uh, 53 seconds on your YouTube video. Uh, so I kind of honed straight in on that one to try and figure out what I could hear. So yeah, basically, we'll play the audio through as it is on the video. And I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera um, and the audio in that, but it, yeah, you can hear, clearly hear uh, yourself, Johnny, say the rope's going and then uh, a noise that's sounding like it's a voice saying Lucifer. Um, so I did a bit more kind of in-depth kind of, okay, I'll try and take out a bit of kind of background noise because you can hear obviously the cars rumbling. So I wanted to kind of clean it up a bit. Yep. Um, what I did, I put a couple of uh, EQs on it, uh, equalizers. Uh, I got the here, you can, you can see, see here I've done a low pass filter, taking out all of the lows taking a bit of the highs there and just boosted the mids at around, what is that, what have I got there, uh, 2k. So 2 kilohertz, um, and then this is what it's going to sound like. You can see I put a low pass filter uh, here, uh, that takes out all the rumble of the background cars and stuff that you can hear. Uh, this high, I put a high pass filter, that takes some of the high uh, frequencies away. And I've also boosted the 2k's, uh, 2 kilohertz, uh, which is around the, like, the voice. It's uh, it's the frequency of uh, voice. So the voice is uh, when the air is manipulated and creates sounds, uh, that's around uh, 2000 uh, hertz. So we'll, we'll press play with this EQ on. And I'll bump the volume. And now I'll up the gain a bit of that e equalizer. Uh, I will uh, um, uh, so I, I have no idea what that is to be honest cause well because at, at first you were saying like you you said that you could actually you sort of tried to correct I that sound to correct the sound um i pretty much ran around this house because uh, i know <laughs> you you've been you've been in the forest for a bit uh, at that point uh, it's obviously a bit cold maybe a bit out of breath so i kind of ran around got some breathy sounds put on the microphone just over there uh started playing around see if i could uh, i was repeating what you were saying in different tones to see if i could get anything that sounded remotely like Lucifer to come out without me actually physically uh, producing the sound Lucifer. So me going the ropes over there and doing like big breaths and yeah. stuff like that. And I could get a, I could get a, or like a, not the same sound, like same kind of pattern, but it wasn't as defined as kind of that sounds to me. And, and then on further inspection, I kind of realized like when you, when you're speaking, uh, your, your volume's kind of, it's a, it's at a different volume than what this Lucifer is coming in at there. So we'll press play again and you'll hear the audio. Uh, you'll clearly hear it. So. So you can hear it's coming in at a different, uh, it's coming in at a different level than your uh, voice, which to me is Indi indicative of not you speaking the word uh, or even making the breathy sounds uh, because it is it's it's coming in slightly louder than you speaking 
and when I was getting the breathy sounds to sound similar to that, they were actually, because it's breathy, it was coming in less than the vocals. So I was speaking the ropes over there, but my breath was down below there. So uh, ropes over there, and then the breathy sound was down there. However, you can clearly hear in this, uh, ropes over there, and then the breathy sound is above it, which to me seems very hard to comprehend. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not in the wild. I didn't know the whole environment, but if you've got a microphone on a camera, it's picking up everything at the same level, uh, from the same uh, spot. Uh, your voice is coming out at the set decibel level. I can't see a breath being louder than a voice because mm -hmm. the voice is more defined. Uh, it's more air getting pushed through. Um, okay, so as a, a, a as a skeptic too, which is sort yeah. of what I wanted. Um, oh. Does that give you chills? Does that? It does. It does. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but my, my hands are standing up. They were standing up like four days ago when I gave you the footage. I, if I if I put these things on and I get immersed, I get freaked out, uh, which is why I sat here with the lights on. And That's all right. So what what happened when you were going through that Lucifer one? Uh, well, um, I was going through it, and man, I was freaking out a bit because obviously I was I was in this room by myself. Uh, I'd been in here for a couple of hours listening to this stuff on repeat. And I, my mate lives next door, I told him to jump over the fence, he came over, I played it to him, I was like, what does that sound like? He was like, sounds like it's saying Lucifer, and we literally left the room as it is, like this, and I walked out the back door, jumped over the fence, had dinner at his, came back and went to bed about five hours later when I felt, when I calmed down a bit. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> but in, in that, in that and, time, you're over, and you're a skeptic. Yeah, in that time, I'd been over there, and we'd, we'd have a massive discussion, him and his parents, for a couple of hours, the, about, about it, about this stuff. I've shown you their video, uh, shown them your videos, and we're going through them. And with with all your analysts, uh, you can't prove this is fake. Uh, yeah, like to me, the only way this would be fake is if you were whispering this shit in the field. But you can clearly, the, especially the Lucifer one, you can see, you can hear that it's a different decibel. It's not you whispering because you're talking, and then as we explained earlier, it's a different level. It comes in a bit louder than you're talking, and which to produce a breathy sound which is louder than when you're, what you're speaking in that sentence. It's kind of, I'm no expert on the human vocal cords, but to me it seems kind of hard or impossible to whisper on your breath louder than you're speaking. Yeah. Sweet, man. Thanks for that.